What's up everybody? I'm Daniel Kaufman and in this video I'm going to go over some of the options that we have for cryptocurrency, credit, and debit cards. The first one we are looking at is BCC Pay which is connected to BitConnect or Bitcoin and we are also going to look at BitPay which I believe is just Bitcoin and if the video doesn't go too long I might put a trade in this video as well. Over to BCC Pay which was just released by BitConnect now very long ago. It's a payment platform that stores Bitcoin and BitConnect and works as a debit card so you're gonna have to deposit your Bitcoin or BitConnect coin into an account which then you can spend with this card anywhere that credit or debit card is accepted. Looks like currently the cards are being shipped in 15 to 20 days after your order and here are the card fees and limits. Right now with the silver card in the US the Max purchases per day is six with a valuation of $250. $250 max at an ATM as well. If you go up to the gold, there is no limit on purchases and no limit on value. ATM max is 1000 per transaction. So it looks like the gold is probably the way to go. And now I'm gonna register for it. All right, I just registered for an account. Looks like here's where we deposit either Bitcoin or Bitcoin. Connect coin and here's where we order the card but it looks like we're gonna have to do it tomorrow because they only issue 500 a day we are too late today looks like there's a card fee of $17 plus an extra $85 102 total I'll leave the link for BCC pay down in the video description and I'm gonna finish this up tomorrow probably off camera won't be that interesting watching me fill out the rest of this information and I will do a more comprehensive review once I do get the card. On to the next one, BitPay. We are going to sign up. Looks like this card is only $10. A little bit cheaper than the BCC Pay card, but it is only Bitcoin. I am going to fill this out off camera. Catch up with you guys in a second. Going to pay for this quick. Scan that QR code. It showed up weird on my... And it's saying that's $21 and not let's try that again scan that definitely looks weird i don't know what's going on here why is he giving me this strange address right here all right we're just gonna try it with what i have i think i'm sending the right amount here even though it's more than what it said it was going to be maybe that includes the fee sent let's see what happens these bitcoin transactions have been taking a while so this might get interesting still 10 minutes for it to go through though while we wait for that to go through let's look at at some of the features of this so it is a visa card so anywhere that accepts a visa is where we can use it looks like it works as both a credit or debit card so you can use it at an ATM as well still waiting for the payment all right so it's not a debit or credit card it is just a debit card which means you can only spend as much as you have in that debit account. But there's an email just saying that my card, well, here it is. Payment is confirming this payment was made with a low Bitcoin miner fee, which may prevent it from being accepted by the Bitcoin network. Okay, I guess we will wait on that. All right, our BitPay card has been ordered. We just have to wait for it to get processed and sent out. I will give a full review of this as well as soon as I get that card. I will also leave a link for this down in the video description so if you guys want to check out BitPay as well the link will be down there and I think this video is pretty short let's get a trade in quick huh just opened up an account with Binance and I have been eyeing IOTA saw an article that Coinbase is talking about accepting new currencies right now they have Bitcoin Ethereum and Litecoin three out of the top five in the market caps my guess is that they're probably just gonna go down the list so they might be adding Bitcoin Cash, Ripple, IOTA, Dash, NAM, Cardano, maybe Bitcoin Gold, maybe Monero, most of which I already have in my portfolio, but I do not have IOTA. And if we click on the markets, this is kind of the reason why I don't have IOTA is because it's only on a few of the exchanges, Binance being one of them. And it looks like the price is kind of right in the middle with the Binance at 393. There it is in Bitcoin, same as in ETH. Not sure what BNB is, but it's only three cents difference. 
So I'm just going to be sending over some Bitcoin to Binance. Not sure which exchange this is, but there is a possible arbitrage opportunity right here. That's a bit of a price gap there. Make sure you guys are always watching this. I keep an eye on this all the time. Once in a while, you will find one that is just off the charts and you can make some easy money just by transferring your funds over to that exchange. If it's way overpriced, if it's way underpriced, transfer your BC or whatever pairing it is and you can buy it for way cheaper I've done that as well right now we will wait on that deposit and once I get it I will be back I was just flipping through some of the other coins and came upon this that's insane I clicked on it but it's Bitcoin cash not BitConnect coin which is what I thought it was I was about to transfer every BitConnect coin I had over there and get four and a half to one on on the Bitcoin or on the BitConnect coin price again just something to look at volumes really low but it's not BitConnect coin looking at ethereum for some opportunities right now too and look at the price range we have over a thousand dollars here this one is on hit BTC so it just shot up so right now is the perfect time to be selling your ethereum for dent which I am not exactly sure what that is and it goes all the way down to 521 there's an arbitrage right there on hit BTC so if you transferred your ethereum over to hit BTC sold it for dent then you're gonna have to find a currency that you can sell dent for most likely going to be Bitcoin as long as it's not too overpriced you can sell for Bitcoin with your Bitcoin that you can buy this MYB with the MYB you buy more ETH because you're getting it at a discounted rate sell it for about twice as much boom it's just a money cycle you guys can keep that going I might have to try Try this after my funds are deposited and I buy this iota so it looks like this dent is only available in the ETH pairing on hit BTC but then you could transfer your dent over to coin rail and exchange it for BTC and it's much higher over there and it looks like we are not going to be signing up for coin rail because uh, I believe that's Korean I could translate it here and make an attempt at it but oh man this is gonna get dicey if I try to sign up for some Korean website and uh, not gonna happen this time not worth the risk but that prices are starting to come a little bit closer but that is a huge arbitrage opportunity for anyone that knows Korean all right we have six hundred and thirty five dollars worth of Bitcoin that has been deposited so far Binance you're doing all right that was pretty quick I'm gonna leave a link for this website down in the video description it looks like they have a ton of coins here looks like about a hundred coins Coins. so if you guys want to check this out the link will be down there but now let's head over to the iota market here is the basic view looks like we've got our buy orders down here sell orders over here let's try the advanced view and see what this shows same thing here are the filled orders you get the depth chart here get it on five minute candles zooming out to six hour candles there was our high up there looks like we are getting down here pretty good price looks like we get some resistance right along that level so I think this is a good spot to buy it get a pretty big buy order right there there so i'm gonna come in a little bit above that i pre-fill this there it is damn it we got leapfrogged i'm right, gonna come in above that one Ooh, they're they're fighting for position right now price keeps going up i gotta get one of those trading bots this is uh jumping a lot all right we're in it Ooh, did we get filled we might have just gotten filled yep definitely got filled i have 161 iota and we have some bitcoin left over as well there's the iota looks like we can't withdraw the iota right now but that's fine i will be keeping it in binance for the time being and that is where i'm going to end this video thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm going to be doing a giveaway on the next video which i will be updating on bitconnect now over four months on bitconnect 12k earned just crushing it over there so going to be updating what everything looks like with that platform and how i've been doing over there in the next video as well as giving away 0.1 bitconnect coins so make sure you hit your notification so you know when that video comes out so you don't miss it take part in the giveaway right now it is worth 
over $40. That's not bad for watching a video. If you have any comments or questions about this video, leave those down below. If you have experience with the BitPay card or the BitConnect card, I'd like to know what you guys think about these cards as well. All the links for the websites I use today will also be down in the video description. Make sure you head down there, check out all the links, follow me on social media, and I will be back soon with a new video. But until then, keep stacking up those coins.